Welcome to Scratch Junior Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch Junior. On Scratch Junior, you can create your own stories, riddles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything and the programs that you write. You will need the Scratch Junior app on your iPad, Android tablet, or computer. Scratch Junior is a free download and you'll have to get it so that you can do coding with us. Today, you're going to learn how to bring your own pictures into Scratch Junior, and you're going to create something like this. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch you. Bless you. This is lesson number nine. We're going to use a lot of the things that we've already learned in previous lessons, so if you haven't seen those, you may need to watch lessons one through seven first. I have different scenes set up over here on the right. We don't really need that. I just made that to show you a couple different ways to time this because the guy in orange is wanting to tell a knock knock joke to his friend in green. So he can't say knock knock at the same time as the boy in green says Who th who's there. He has to say knock knock, who's there, then the orange says hatch, and then the green says hatch who. And then the orange guy finishes the joke by saying, bless you. It has to happen in order that way. We've used message blocks before, and we used them a lot in lesson eight. But I want to show you one other way that you could do it. We have the orange, the boy in orange, starting when you hit the green flag, he says, knock, knock. Then he waits for 15 and then he says hatch, and then he waits for 20, and then he says bless you. The boy in green, he waits in the beginning. He's just waiting for the boy in orange to say knock knock, and then he says who's there. Then he waits for 15, and then he says hatch you. So if you can get all these timings right, like do you wait for 10 or do you wait for 15 in the beginning, you can just play around with it. Let's make it bigger and watch. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. So that's one way to do it, but this is a more advanced lesson, so we're going to play with these message blocks. And if you look at the way I've done it, the joke starts with the boy in orange. When, when I hit the green flag, he says, knock, knock. And then he sends an orange message. Now let's look at the boy in green. When he sees an orange message, he says, who's there? And he sends a red message. And if the boy in orange sees that somebody has sent a red message, he says, hatch. And he sends a yellow message. And if the boy in green sees a yellow message, he says, hatch you, and sends a green message. And then the boy in orange finishes the joke. When he sees a green message, he says, bless you. So are you ready to make a knock-knock joke? Start a new project, remove the default character, and go to the backgrounds. You saw from my other project, those were not characters that you find in Scratch Junior when you first open it up. This is a picture of my playroom. You can't bring in pictures into Scratch Junior, but you can take pictures. So if I want my own background, I go to edit the background, I click on the camera, click in there, and it lets me take a picture of my room. And that's now the background in my project. Another way we can personalize is with our characters. Have you noticed you have a lot of characters with faces and then you have a whole nother group of characters that don't have faces? Do you know what that's for? When you edit one of those and click on the camera and click on the face, it lets you take a picture. I'm not going to take a picture of me. I have this little clown friend because he's such a funny guy and he likes to tell knock-knock jokes. You can also change the way these characters look. 
I can change his shirt. I'm using the paint bucket to just dump some different colors on him. Let's get another character. We'll call him Boy 2. And call the guy that likes to tell jokes Boy 1. And put him in my playroom. That is one of the main things that you're going to learn in today's lesson. Is how to change your background to a real picture and how to change a face on one of your characters to a real picture. You can put your face here. You could make yourself an astronaut. Click on the picture and then click where you want to take the picture. And I took a picture of my Spider-Man so I'll make Spider-Man an astronaut. But besides bringing in your own pictures, today we're going to practice with the message blocks. Because a lot of the scenes and games and things that you're going to want to create, your characters will need to communicate with each other. Today, the characters have to communicate back and forth. And the timing of that is very important. So boy one is going to start when the green flag starts. And he'll say, knock, knock. And boy two will say, who's there? So how will Boy 2 know when to say who's there. Do we do it with the green flag? What happens? They both say it at the same time. That is not going to work. You knew that. So when boy 1 says knock knock, then he'll send a letter to boy 2. He's going to send an orange letter to boy 2. So boy 2 says, when I get an orange letter, I'll say who's there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Okay, so after he says who's there, he's got to let boy one know. All right, it's your turn to talk again. So we'll just pick the next color, a red one. So we'll go back to boy number one. When you get a message, you're opening it. And so we're going to open a red letter. When he opens a red letter, he knows it's his turn to continue with the joke. So he says, Hatch. And then he has to let boy two know he's done and it's his turn to talk. So let's get another message block. We're sending a message block so it's not open. We'll send a yellow one this time. Boy 2, if he sees a yellow message, he's going to open it and say, Hatch who? And then he has to let Boy 1 know it's his turn to talk. So he has to send a message. We'll do a green one this time. When boy one sees a green message, he'll open it and say, Bless you. It's good coding practice to always end your scripts. 
And let's see if this worked. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. We're going to do one more thing today that we haven't done before, and that's record sounds. If I go to this microphone, you remember from previous lessons, you can make a pop sound. That's all that's in here. But if I go to this microphone, I can click this red, and it's recording me right now. And then I'll stop. I can play it back. Click this red, and it's recording me right now. And then I'll... What I want to record is who's there. Who's there? Who's there? And we'll put that there instead of him. Instead of having that written above his head. Now we need to record Hatch Who. Hatch Who. Hatch who? And we'll put that one down here. And get rid of the text. So let's record the audio for boy number one. He has three things to say. Let's record bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, let's record knock knock. Knock knock. And let's record hatch. Hatch. And get rid of the written hatch. All right, let's see how it goes now. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. I'm not sure I like that better. You can't really tell who's talking. I'm going to add all that code in so that we have the recorded and the written words. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. That's the end of this lesson. Now it's your turn. Create a new project and for the background use your camera to bring in your own picture. For at least one of the characters bring in a picture for their face. Use your face on the character and somewhere in your script use the recording option and say something or make a sound. If you can do all those personalizations for your story, then congratulations, you've mastered this lesson. This free kids coding lesson was provided by STEM and Games. Subscribe, watch more lessons, and keep practicing, and soon you will be creating new worlds and games and making your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time.